Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be about how to menu plan with the twist of doing it in Cambodia. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Stacey and my channel here is all about being a wife and a mom to four boys, living overseas, and homeschooling. And today I'm here in my kitchen. You can see our back door. Um, out through there you see our neighbors. So you can hear like neighbors, kids playing back there and stuff. There's a dog barking out that way. My kids are playing and my baby is sitting right over here off screen. He is really hot here in Cambodia and humid and so he is sitting here in his diaper chewing on a toy that's in the freezer. It's really cold for him. It feels good on his gums. So if you hear noises, there's lots going on today. <laughs> today I'm hoping to make a menu plan that will last us the next three weeks. At the end of that time, we're going to be traveling and I would like for my pantry and fridge to be pretty much empty. And um, so I want to make meals. I can use up that stuff, but I also need to know what to buy so I don't overbuy when I go to get groceries. If you're curious about where we're going to be traveling and why, I recently did a video about our life update and I talked about it in there. I will try to link that down below in the description box. So at the time of me filming this, it's three weeks yet till we leave. Today my goal is to make three weeks worth of menu plan and to be able to use up a lot of ingredients I already have. And then I also want to make a grocery list so that way I know what to buy and I don't end up over buying. <laughs> my baby is just being so loud so I thought I'd just go ahead and bring him over here. You want to say hi, huh? So I have three steps or tips to help with menu planning. And the first one is to go through your fridge and freezer and your pantry to see what you have. Do your fridge first, especially the things that are perishable, and uh, make a note of the things you already have, especially things that are going to go bad soon and need to use up. And two tips to go along with this one is... Oh, really? Two tips to go along with this one is um, anything that's in the back of your fridge, like fruits and veggies that are really old, go ahead and sweep those and trash those when you had it. And the second one is be sure to plan meals. Uh, be sure to take note of the leftovers you have. Don't just trash those. You can save a lot of money by using leftovers. You can reuse them, make them taste good. Um, more on that later. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is actually open up your fridge. So this is my fridge first. As you can see, it's pretty empty. We tend to keep our fridge pretty empty because um, we buy all of our fruits and veggies pretty much on the daily as we need them because that's just the culture here in Cambodia. You go to market every day and buy your fruits and veggies. So anyway, this down here is all leftovers that I want to use up. Um, some of those are like stir fries and rice and some spaghetti and some fried rice. Anyways, these are like condiments and this is just water because it's so hot here in Cambodia we go through water really fast. And that is some jello from the boys, a little bit of candy. And this is brown sugar cinnamon. We have to keep it in here so ants don't get it. We like to eat that on our toast. And then down in my fruits and veggies drawer we have a little bit of bread and an orange. And I'm going to go through there in just a minute to go see what else we have. We have a Sprite in there. We don't normally have Sprite, but we had some boys that were sick and throwing up here um, last week, and so that is left over from that. All right, then next we're gonna open up the freezer. Okay, and in my freezer, I've got like extra flour, brown sugar, um, some cheese, powdered sugar. Up there is some cinnamon rolls I made on Saturday, and cocoa powder, teething ring for the baby. Um, and then we have a little bit of veggies and chicken nuggets. This is bread crust. I like to use that to dip breading for chicken and stuff. And we got some frozen fruit up there that we like to make smoothies out of. So I don't have any meat in here except that little bit of chicken nuggets right there. So we're definitely going to have to buy meat. We got some ingredients up here that I'll use in some of my meals. Okay, next of all, we're going to check the pantry. And we always keep our eggs just out here. I definitely need to add eggs to my list. We're going to have to get that. And then this is in my pantry. This container over here is my seasonings, rice, uh, condiments that don't have to be refrigerated, a couple snack things, and back here we have different noodles and stuff like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just go through and write down my grease I could use potentially in a meal. Okay, so we got him a cracker, so hopefully he's happier now. At this point, you should have a list of all of the ingredients that you have in your fridge, freezer, and pantry that you could potentially use for meals. Step number two is menu plan. Go ahead and um, map out what meals you could make with the greens you already have. And you can do this just by looking at your list and seeing what meals come to mind. You can also go online. Pinterest is a good resource, but it can be really overwhelming. You can also go to other websites that you can just type in the ingredients you have, and it'll tell you different meal ideas. Um, that you could use with those. 
And then also plan a couple of those meals for leftovers and stuff, so you can make, be sure to use up those leftovers to help save money. And then for the meals that are still left blank, go ahead and put meal ideas in there you know your family likes, something different than what you already are making, and that way then you know what ingredients to buy. All right, so what I did is I have my list here of ingredients that I have on hand that I could use for meals that I want to use up. And then I just got a piece of paper and I just simply wrote, I simply wrote breakfast snack, lunch snack, and dinner, and that's all. Um, and then for each day of the week, some of them I just am going to write in, like I know we're going to plan to use leftovers. Some of them I know we might plan to get like chicken off the street or fried noodles or fried rice, something like that. And then I have a binder here that I just slide it right inside the front little plastic pocket. So that way for that week it's easy to grab and look at. Um, doesn't feel overwhelming. And I have a few of my favorite recipes in here with different tabs for the different categories. And then I also have a stack of my favorite cookbooks here that, um, and this is my current favorite one. I really enjoy this one from Hope. I'll try to link it down below. She has tons of great recipes and every recipe has a picture. Um, really beautiful pictures and every recipe I've made so far is really good. <laughs> so I definitely recommend this cookbook. Anyway, so then I'll go through there, those. Sorry, it is really loud in the background. But anyway, I'll go through my stack of cookbooks and my favorite recipes in the binder and fill in what meals I have left. I know for me that simple is best, and I'll actually do it that way if I keep it super simple. All right, the baby's playing on the floor. Yes, the neighbors are outside talking, having fun. All right, so at this point, you should have a list of the greens you already have on hand and your meal plan written out on paper, so that way you know whether you're planning for one week or three weeks like I am. And step number three is make your grocery list. Go ahead and write down anything that you need to buy and the amounts of it. And don't forget toiletries with this. I like to include diapers, shampoo, toothpaste, laundry soap, all those things. And then check for sales, whether that's by flyers you get in the mail or whether you go online and you can check for a website. There are some websites you can check like in the States that'll tell all the local stores that are having sales. Um, or you can check like your, if you specifically go to a certain grocery store, you could just check online what they have on sale, especially with their meats and stuff. That way you know how to, um, which, that way you know which store is the better one to go to. For here in Cambodia, there's a slight twist to this because I get all of our veggies and fruits and some of our meat from the local open air market. And then I get all of our other ingredients from what we call a thumb nook, like a modern grocery store. So for me, when I make my grocery list, I kind of have it split in two. And I have like my fruits and veggies and those meats I'm planning to get. I'll buy those as needed, um, so that way they're really fresh because our local market is just, because so, our local open air market is just within walking distance, so we get those um, almost on a daily basis. And then the things I need to really stock up on, I'll put on a list that we'll get at a more of a grocery store. Okay, and then for this step, I made on my grocery list, I'm making two. The one is gonna be that I'm gonna get at market, um, and I'll get these more like every day or every other day because it's within walking distance and I can get it fresh for my fruits and veggies that way. And then I make another grocery list. And then I make another grocery list for at one one which is the grocery store that I'm gonna go to this week. And another tip is just go to one store. That way it saves you time. And the more stores you go to, you tend to buy, grab extra things and spend more money that way. So if you just go to one store one time, um, I think that really helps to save you money. So I'll make a list here and I'll let this thing on the side of my fridge and if I think of anything else that we need, like wipes or something like that, I can easily add it to this list. And so what I'll do now is I'll go through the three, one on this side, this side, and then one right here. I'll go through my three different menus for the next three weeks and add to my grocery list anything that I know I'm going to need to buy. And so, so for some of these, I don't have an exact recipe, like this one here, I just have stuffed bell peppers and what I'll do is I'll just get on my phone and look up a recipe that looks good. And that's done for now, yay! And all right, one thing I'm doing for that third week is I'm only planning dinners. Um, and we'll just have, I just have eggs for all the breakfasts. Um, that way we have plenty of room to eat leftovers or if we happen to skip a meal sometime, something came up, we can have that meal then fill it in here. I do not want to be left much leftovers. If worst case comes scenario, we can do things like egg salad because I'll have eggs on hand. And we can also get fried chicken or fried chow, it's just fried rice or fried noodles off the street. That way you don't end up with a bunch of leftovers. Okay, so those are the three steps of how to meal plan. And I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you found the twist interesting of how we do it here in Cambodia. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up button and comment down below how you meal plan. I know when I was growing up, my mom, she would always meal plan really simply, just using like, and I think this is still a really good idea. She would have a meat, a meat plan for each day of the week. And then as she went, she would just decide what um, to put with that meat. That way she had meat on plant on hand and then she had like a stocked pantry and then she could what mood and then she could decide depending on what mood she was in what she wanted to make to go with that meat. 
And I think that's a really good way to do it. Um, really simple and not overwhelming. But because I really want to use up most of my ingredients in the next three weeks, um, I'm doing it more detailed. So there's more than one way to meal plan. Let me know down in the comments how you guys do it. And if you haven't watched the video of our life update, I'll have that link down below. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye.